Where did Earth's water come from? There aren't many things worse than waking up with a dry mouth and a scratchy throat. You haven't drank anything in a while and water is all you can think about. When you reach for a glass of water, think about where it comes from. Most of the water we drink comes from underground. Some water is also gathered by collecting water from rivers or by collecting water from the rain. Then this is treated to make it safe to drink. Only about 0.3% of all the water on earth is drinkable. The rest is in oceans, ice caps, the ground, and the air. But have you ever thought about where all that water came from? Let's find out in today's video. For years, scientists have been attempting to answer this question. Was there already water on earth? Was it introduced to Earth before life began? It covers more than 70% of our planet and is the sole reason we exist. For a long time, the most widely accepted explanation for Earth's water supply was that water-bearing asteroids collided with our planet. Perhaps the collision that formed the moon and the Earth caused the planet to have water. If Earth's water wasn't there when Earth was made, planetary scientists think it must have come from somewhere else in the universe. Asteroids and comets both come to Earth and it is known that they can carry ice. In fact, models of how asteroids and comets are made show that they have enough ice to have brought enough water to fill all of Earth's oceans. So problem solved? Not quite. Did a comet or an asteroid bring water to Earth? Was it one thing or several? And how long has this been going on? One way to figure it out if an asteroid or a comet gave us our oceans is to look at the chemicals that make up these space rocks and compare them to the chemicals that make up the Earth to see which is more similar. For example, a water molecule always has 10 protons, 8 from its oxygen molecule and 1 from each of its hydrogen molecules, and usually has 8 neutrons from the oxygen molecule only. But some types of water may have more neutrons than others. Heavy water, for example, is water made from oxygen and deuterium, which is an isotope of hydrogen or just hydrogen with an extra neutron. In 2014, the journal Science published a study that looked at the amounts of different isotopes of water, which are water molecules with different numbers of neutrons on meteorites that are thought to have come to Earth from the ancient asteroid Vesta. Vesta is the second largest object in the asteroid belt. Its surface is full of craters, which showed that it may have been hit by many things in the past. Isotopes were spread out in the same way in the rocks from Vesta as they are on Earth. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that Vesta was the source of our water, but it does mean that an object or objects similar to Vesta in age and makeup could be to blame. But the fight hasn't been solved yet. At first, studies of comets seemed to show that water on Earth came from asteroids. The Rosetta spacecraft was the first to orbit a comet and the first to send a lander, called Philae, to the comet's surface. Scientists learned from Rosetta and Philae that the ratio of heavy water, water made from deuterium, to regular water, water made from regular old hydrogen on comets was different than on Earth. This suggests that no more than 10% of the water on Earth could have come from a comet. But in 2018, when the comet 46P slash Wirtanen came close to Earth, planetary scientists were able to use SOFIA, a big plane with a telescope on board, to get a better look at its isotopic makeup. They found that the comet had about the same amount of deuterium and hydrogen as Earth does. So what is different about this comet from the one that Rosetta and Philae looked at? Well, Comet 46P slash Rutanen is a part of a group of comets called hyperactive, which means that as they get closer to the sun, they lose more water than a normal comet does. What do they do? As a standard comet nears the heat of the sun, the ice particles from its nucleus sublimate or go directly from solid ice to a gas, which can then condense later into liquid water if it were, say, to arrive on the planet's surface. But a comet that is too active loses not only the ice in its nucleus, but also ice-rich particles in its atmosphere that were heated and pushed out of the nucleus before, but are still there. It's possible that the icy particles in a hyperactive comets are what make their isotope ratios more like those on Earth. So, even though hyperactive comets are less common, the fact that their isotope budgets are similar to those on Earth puts them back in the running to bring water to Earth from space. Another research shows that our sun may have been a big reason why there is water on Earth. Solar winds are full of hydrogen and helium ions, which means that if they had come into contact with asteroids or even asteroid dust, the hydrogen ions in the wind would have reacted with the oxygen atoms in the asteroids to make H2O. The Japanese space agency's Hayabusa space probe brought back samples from the asteroid Itokawa in 2010. These samples showed for the first time that the sun plays a role in Earth's vast water bodies. In a paper that came out in Nature Astronomy on Monday, scientists confirmed that the sun is likely one of the sources of water on Earth. 
Together, the hydrogen from the sun's flints and the deuterium from asteroids made water on Earth. Another theory says that most of the water on Earth was already inside the planet and slowly made its way to the surface. Ringwoodite and Wadsleyite are hydrous materials in the Earth's mantle that contain the elements needed to make water, hydrogen and oxygen. Ringwoodite is hidden inside diamonds in the transition zone which is a layer of the Earth between the upper and lower mantles. Then as hot magma rises and cool magma sinks into the planet, the pressures crush the watery materials and squeeze them like a sponge. During this process, water rises to the surface through volcanoes and underwater vents. However, a recent study published in the Scientific Journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences suggests that the theories may be incorrect. An examination of moon rocks from the Apollo missions of the 1960s and early 1970s reveals that the Earth most likely formed with water. According to the study, either the Earth always had water or it was hit by something that was pure H2O, ruling out the theory that asteroids helped us get all this water. You might be wondering what scientists learned about the Earth by looking at the moon. As it turns out, studying the celestial body that circles our planet can teach us a lot about it. Scientists think that the Earth and the moon were made when two celestial bodies crash into each other. So their pasts are always tied together. The moon doesn't have an atmosphere or weather like the Earth does, so more evidence of the past is still there on the moon than on Earth. This makes the moon a very reliable source for learning about Earth's history. The Big Splash is a popular theory about how the moon came to be. It says that the Earth crashed into another planet called Theia before life began. This crash sent pieces of matter into space which eventually came together to form the moon. The theory also says that the collision changed the way the Earth's elements were put together, which may have led to water and the atmosphere. But when scientists look at the moon rocks, they found that the things that were thought to have changed had never been there, so they could not have caused water to be made. The age of the moon has also been recalculated because of this study. Scientists were able to narrow down the time frame of the collision to about 4.5 billion years ago, which changed how old the moon was thought to be. It seems that the discovery of water on Mars is making a lot of noise these days. Do you think there has always been water on Earth? And do you know where it came from? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video then give it a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button so that you will never miss any updates.